before we begin our next read aloud, we're going to do a quick review. So characters are who a story is about. Characters can be people or animals in a story. Think back to our first read aloud, Chicken Little. Can you name the characters in that read aloud? Did you say Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Turkey Lurkey, Ducky Lucky, or Foxy Loxy? Any of those were characters in the story. But who was the main character, the character that the story was mostly about? Did you respond with Chicken Little? Chicken Little was the main character in this story. Let's take a look at the image of our second read aloud. The second read aloud was the three little pigs. Can you tell me who the characters were in the three little pigs? You might have said the first little pig who built his house out of straw, or the second little pig who built his house out of sticks, the third little pig who built his house out of bricks, or the big bad wolf. And don't forget, we did have another character, although she was only at the beginning but it was the pig's mom. Remember, the plot of a story is what happens or the events in a story. So if we look back to our image of Chicken Little, can you tell me the main events that happened in the story? Did you say at the beginning Chicken Little had something fall on his head? He thought the sky was falling. So next he went to all of his friends and he told his friends that the sky was falling and they were so concerned that they needed to go to the king. And last they ran into Foxy Loxy who tried to lure them into his den. When I say the plot or the events that happened, and I just gave you a quick overview, just hit on the main things that happened. Notice that I didn't retell the whole story. Let's talk about the plot or what happened or the events in our story, The Three Little Pigs. Can you tell me what happened, what sequence they were? Did you tell me that the mom sent her pigs off on their own? The first little pig decided to build his house out of straw? You might have said that the second little pig built his house out of sticks. The third little pig decided to build his house out of bricks. You might have stated or told me that the big bad wolf came along and blew down the first little pig's house, the second little pig's house, but when he tried to blow down the third little pig's house, it did not work. The setting of a story is the place where the story takes place or happens. The story you will hear today takes place on a bridge next to a grassy hill. This means the setting is a bridge next to a grassy hill. 
Have you ever heard a story about someone who wants something very badly? Today, you're going to hear a story in which three goats want something very badly, but they run into a problem trying to get what they want. Listen carefully to find out what the goats want, what problem they encounter, and how they solve their problem. If you have already heard this story, Listen to see how our version might be different from the one that you know. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goat brothers who were all named Gruff. The three Billy Goats Gruff longed to go up a hillside covered with thick green grass. They really, really wanted to go up the hillside covered with thick green grass. They wanted to eat the grass because they knew it would be delicious. To get to the hillside, they had to cross a brook. A brook in this picture is a small river or stream of water. Over the brook was a bridge. And under the bridge lived a troll. Now, the first to cross the bridge was the little billy goat gruff. The word cross means to go from one side of the bridge to the other. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that trip? Trapping over my bridge, roared the troll, who had been taking a nap and was feeling quite grumpy from being shook awake by the trip trapping of the bridge. And the tiny goat said in a wee small voice, It's only I, said little Billy Goat Gruff, and I'm going to the hillside to eat the delicious grass. Oh, no, said the troll, who was feeling both grumpy and hungry. I am going to gobble you up. To gobble means to eat it quickly. Oh, please don't eat me, said little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm too little. Yes, I am. Wait a bit until my brother comes. He's much bigger. Well, be off with you, said the troll, who was usually more polite when his tummy was full and he had had a decent nap. He settled back down under the bridge, determined to fall asleep. Soon the middle billy goat gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, Trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Roared the troll, jumping up onto the bridge. Now the troll was becoming very grumpy. How was he to get any sleep with all this noise moving over his bridge? And the goat said, in a not so small voice, it, it's only I, middle Billy Goat Gruff, and I'm going to the hillside to eat the delicious grass. Ho, ho, no, said the troll, who was feeling even grumpier and hungry. I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, no, don't eat me. Wait till my brother comes along. He's much bigger. Very well. Be off with you, said the troll, who could not believe he had been disturbed twice in one day. He jumped back down to try once more to take a nap in his home under the bridge. 
The troll cannot sleep because the goats are walking noisily on his house. And just then, up came the great Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went to the bridge. For the big Billy Goat Gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. This means the bridge moved and made a squeaking sound because big Billy Groat Gruff was so big. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Roared the troll, for this was getting really quite ridiculous. And a deep, loud voice boomed. It's I, big Billy Goat Gruff. Oh, no, said the troll, who was thinking now that he was feeling the grumpiest and hungriest he had ever felt. I am going to gobble you up. Well, then come and try, said the big billy goat gruff. The troll climbed up on the bridge, but he was not prepared for what happened next. The big billy goat gruff rushed at the troll without saying a word. He danced and pranced all over until the bridge shook so much that the poor troll rolled off the bridge into the water. Then the big billy goat gruff went to the hillside where he joined his brothers and they all three ate so much delicious grass that they were scarcely able to walk home. That means that the billy goat's gruff had a hard time walking home. Snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. Can you tell me which characters try to cross the bridge? Did you say three billy goats gruff? Or maybe you told me little billy goat gruff. Or maybe you stated middle billy goat gruff. And don't forget, you could have said big billy goat gruff. All of those would have been correct answers. How many billy goats gruff are there? Did you say three? That is correct. There are three billy goats gruff. What are their names? Did you say little billy goat gruff, middle billy goat gruff, and big billy goat gruff? That was correct. Those were their names. What happens after little billy goat gruff crosses the bridge? Did you say that he wakes up the troll and that the troll yells and says he's going to gobble him up? And that little billy goat gruff says that his brother who is bigger is coming and don't eat me up. You could have said any of that. That is what happened next in the story after little Billy Goat Gruff crosses the bridge. Who lives under the bridge? Did you say troll? That's correct. The troll lives under the bridge. What is the troll trying to do when little Billy Goat Gruff crosses the bridge. Did you say that the troll is trying to take a nap? That's what he was trying to do. Why doesn't the troll gobble up little Billy Goat Gruff? Did you say that he didn't gobble him up because little Goat Gruff says that his brother who is bigger is coming next, 
So the troll decides to wait. Who crosses the bridge next? Did you say middle Billy Goat Gruff crosses the bridge next? Why doesn't the troll gobble up middle Billy Goat Gruff? Did you say that the troll doesn't try to gobble him up? Because middle Billy Goat Gruff says his bigger brother is coming? Who crosses the bridge last? Did you say Big Billy Goat Gruff? Big Billy Goat Gruff crosses the bridge last. What happens? The troll says he will gobble him up. That was correct. What does Billy, Big Billy Goat Gruff do to the troll? Did you say that he knocks the troll into the water? If you did, you were right. I hope you enjoyed our read aloud today. Answering my questions, I know that you were using your listening ears and paying attention to the plot and the events and details that happened in our story.